Hey guys, it's Johnny with RV SWAT. We're hanging out outside at our new gate. We've been here two weeks. Two weeks so at our new gate. Almost two weeks. I shot a video showing you how to get hookups when you're on a gate gate guarding. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up here somewhere. Uh, but I did mention that we got all new equipment for the hookup, so I'm gonna take time today to show you our new hookups and our new site. Stick around. We are sitting at the main entrance, which the main entrance sits here, and the rig itself that we're working is 3.7 miles down this access road. So we're away from all the noise of the rig and things like that. So here's where we're set up. You see Tracy and Tracy and Gadget is watching the gate right now while I shoot video. Mm -hmm. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gadget said hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you if you remember our hookups last time, you'll see the difference this time. This is our new generator with our big light tower. This light tower is extremely bright. It makes this whole area out here for about a quarter mile look like daylight. So I'm loving the lights on this thing. 15 kilowatt generator. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud over here, guys. And the water tank is also built on to the generator trailer. And that water tank holds uh, 500 gallons of water so the generator is running right now so you can hear how loud or not loud it is depending on how you look at it our water hookups are also here so this blue hose is our fresh water running to the RV it runs inside of here inside that door or actually inside this door here there is two spigot hookups coming off of a water pump and pressurizer, so it pressurizes it also. And then I have my gray hose hooked up for washing the Jeep and spraying off the RV. The blue hose runs to the RV. And that's our electricity. A 50 amp plug over here that I have converted to our 30 amp because our, our rig is 30 amp. Inside this door, all the breakers switches for the lights 110 outlets and like I said the 500 gallons of water this thing is brand new we love it it's a lot quieter than the other generators but the big difference from this setup to the last one is our septic so there's the septic and where it hooks to the RV, you'll notice there is no big three inch sewer hose that you normally have running out to the sewer. And it's because, like I mentioned in the last video, we now have a RV waste pump. And I'll show you that in just a second. But you can see it's running just through a straight industrial strength garden hose. It runs all the way over and you see it goes uphill it hooks into the top of that that tank yeah, let me show you how this hooks up all right excuse my tape job but <laughs> you can see that the macerating pump which is down here it hooks straight to your three inch uh, waste valve just like your hose would hook up. The pump itself hooks right to it. And you'll see back here, the hose, there you go. The hose hooks to the pump. When I turn this pump on, there's a switch right here on the handle. On, off. I open my valves, turn the pump on, it macerates everything coming out, which it chops it up to, I think they said less than an eighth of an inch. So it macerates everything coming out of the tanks. And then it also pumps it through this garden hose all the way over to the tank over there. So
So the beautiful thing about this, one thing that I'm excited for is not only is it a lot cleaner uh, setup than having a three inch hose hooked to a big honey pot pump that we had at the last one. Uh, this is a lot cleaner setup and this pump has the ability to pump uphill. And this pump will actually pump this 50 foot length. You can go 75 foot, 100 foot, 100 foot slightly uphill. So where this masturbator pump is going to come in handy, number one, gate guarding like this. Number two, if you're in a spot where you're a good ways away from any septic hookups, you run it however far you need to go, plop it inside the septic. One of my favorite applications that's going to come in handy is when I'm mooch docking at friends' houses. I don't have to go anywhere to dump because you can actually take this hose and run it straight to a residential toilet, stick it down inside the toilet, and pump right into the toilet, right into their system. Super excited about that hookup. I will do a full review whenever I order my own. I will do an unboxing, full review. Uh, I will show you the dump at my buddy's house, straight into a residential toilet, all that stuff. That is gonna be months down the road, but that video will be coming but I just want to show you quickly how that pump hooks up and how it works. So if you have any questions about the pump before I do the full video on it in a few months, just let me know and I'll answer any questions. Right now, the 12 volt power is running over and it's clipped to the battery on the generator. That's how the pump is getting uh, its power. So you can actually clip right to a 12 volt battery you can hardwire into your 12 volt system or your RV. Uh, there's a bunch of different installation uh, options. There's Tracy watching the gate. You got the iPad. We do log everything on the iPad. Truck's coming in and out. Up oh, here comes the truck now. So she puts the license plate. She puts the license plate into the system. Gets his name. She'll get the name, put everything into the system. And just that easy, he's logged in. So it takes about 30 seconds to log somebody in and about uh, 10 seconds to log them out. So here, I say check in and out on the vehicle. It's probably a minute per vehicle. So if we do 200 vehicles a day that's 200 minutes, that's 200 minutes. <laughs> out of the 24 that's three hours and 20 minutes of work yeah so out of the 24 hours that we quote work 24 hour shift out of the 24 hours we physically work three hours out of it so <laughs> no brainer to me and we're not doing 200 vehicles a day here i think justin said i done 30 the other night on my shift and you're probably doing maybe a hundred during the day. So yeah, so we're averaging about 130. So 130 minutes is what we're actually Hello. working. So yeah, at night, I'm on the couch watching Netflix or something the majority of the night. And I have a vehicle come in, a couple vehicles an hour. You know, like I said, I get up off the couch and it takes me a minute to check them in. trucks coming in this is actually a water truck so again it takes less than a minute <laughs> yeah, so it took her less than a minute get that truck checked in punch in the license plate number they're already in the system their names are already in there so you punch in the license plate number select their name from the list verify it's them hit ok and they're in when they come out punch in their license plate number hit log out and that's it that's the whole job easy breezy this is our view see all the wildflowers And then there's a, like I said, almost four miles back, 3.7 miles back is the rig 
and that's where I take the trash out. So that's what I'm doing next. I have to go take out the trash, or maybe I'll take y'all along for the ride, and we'll go look at the rig, and we'll go take the trash out. So they call this whole area, there's, I think, uh, several hundred acres of land here. And this is referred to as the fruit basket, because all the well sites are named after fruit. So that was coconut, there's watermelon, uh, the one we're going to right now is pineapple. Uh, there's two wells on the pineapple pad, pineapple one and pineapple two, that they're currently in drilling status. And this little fork in the road here, so to the left, we would head out to the watermelon wells. We're gonna go straight and get to the pineapples. We'll cross over the loud cattle bar there. And this is the area that I usually see our turkeys. There's some big turkeys on this property. And usually somewhere in this back last couple miles is where I see the turkeys if they're out and about. So we'll see. So you can see the rig way back there in the distance. All right, last cattle guard here. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. There she is. Uh, let me see if this truck's got my dumpster blocked or not. May not be able to get to the dumpster right now. That's the drill rig. All right, I made it to the dumpster. So let's get out of here and get out of these guys way. And let's get back to the RV. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you enjoyed the rig. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.